Begin this Tuesday evening with a big decision for some local San Diegans. Voters in the South Bay are choosing a candidate in the race for the 80th Assembly District, a seat formerly held by Lorena Gonzalez. It is election day for some as we take a live look out at the registrar's office in Kearney Mesa. If neither candidate on the Democratic side or any of the candidates, the three of them, gets 50% of the vote, the race will go to a runoff in June. Two Democrats and a Republican are running. Former San Diego City Councilman David Alvarez, former San Diego City Council President Georgette Gomez, and Republican Lincoln Pickard. The district covers Chula Vista, National City, and parts of San Diego, as you can see on on this map. So it really does cover a large swath of our population. And we have team coverage this afternoon. Our Salvador Rivera is covering the Gomez campaign, but we begin with Fox 5's Jamie Chambers, who's live in Logan Heights covering the Alvarez campaign. Jamie, good evening. Good evening, Kathleen. Yeah, we've been chasing David Alvarez as he canvasses Logan Heights now and uh, in, in Barrio Logan all over this afternoon. You can see he's he's joined the crew to do some sign waving. We're going to run over and talk to him for two seconds. Um, councilman, former councilman, how, are uh, you? how is this going and what is the process like? It's such a short <laughs> run up to this uh, this special election. What are some of the major priorities that you're trying to get done if elected? So obviously the cost of living in California is really a, a danger to all of our communities, whether it's housing, gas prices, inflation, all of those things really matter. Um, education, people who have kids in the education system have seen how our kids have lost learning over the last two years because of the closures and all that. We got to reinvest in that. And then the homeless issue is actually another big one that we see here in San Diego. The problem's only getting worse not better. We're spending more money. We've got to find a way to get the homeless off the streets and into facilities of care to get them treated for whether it's mental health or substance abuse issues and then get them shelter and housing and on their way. Now, as a council member, you and Georgette Gomez, Gomez are both known entities here in San Diego. You've been friends for years. When you're pushing for these last few moments, these last few moments to, to get that decision from just a handful of voters, they're expecting yeah. about 50,000 right, voters to, right. to vote. What separates you from your uh, from your counterpart in this? Fight? Well, on the campaign trail, you know, we're doing everything we can, as you see us here, door to door, uh, calling, uh, texting. We've done it all for the last three months. It's been pretty intense. And so now we just want to make sure everybody actually gets that ballot in. As you said, not a lot of people voting. So until eight o'clock tonight, people can still go and vote. And no matter if you get the 50 percent or you don't get the 50 percent and, and Georgette might go get the 50 percent. Well, are you still running in that June 7th election? Is this just a warm up for everybody, essentially? Yeah, I think it's important to remember that this is to finish a term that unfortunately was vac vacancy was uh, what created this election, a special election. So this is to finish all the way through de through December, excuse me. And then the normal election where we're all voting for governor and everything else will be in June and November. And yeah, I'll be on the ballot again. All right. Well, good luck. Thank good you. luck. Thanks we'll, so much. We'll see, we'll see you throughout the evening. That's very latest. From Logan Heights, I'm Jamie Chambers. We'll send back to the studio. All right, Jamie. Thank you. And Fox 5, Salvador Rivera, he is covering Georgette Gomez's campaign, and he continues our team coverage live from Chula Vista. Sal. Georgette Gomez and a few of her supporters are out here at Telegraph Canyon Road, just west of the 805 here in Chula Vista. And as you can see, they have been waving uh, signs and their hands at drivers as they drive on by after a long day of work. Now, Gomez has said she likes her chances of winning this special election. She told us yesterday their polling data indicates a majority of the voters in the 80th district favor her campaign or were leaning in her direction a few minutes ago. Gomez said she is the right person to head California's 80th Assembly District and that she's out here on the sidewalk reminding people to go out and cast their ballots. We just want to make sure that they come out and vote and uh, that's what really is important because I know that once they do, they elect the right person and um, no doubt that they know that I'm the one that will be fighting on behalf of our community members. It's, it's been gr grilling as well, uh, very exhausted right now, but the folks that are supporting us is, is it's what's keeping me going and really because this is what this is about. Now, Gomez and her supporters have said they will watch the election returns from her campaign headquarters later this evening, beginning at 8 o'clock. For now, we're live here in Chula Vista, Salvador Rivera, Fox 5 News. All right.